Hello everyone, it is April D back again with some mail for this week to start off the year. First of all, one a couple of decks. First one is a new one from Gemini Decks and Tumas Pinson. It is the Montauk Hotel. Another kind of casino, casino style deck from them. I believe they first kind of teased this one over a year ago now, so it's about time it shows up. I think it was actually a green color before though. May we'll see that sometime. It's not bad though. And then there is one from Kickstarter, which eh, came with a sticker. It is the Magicians by Biz and Me, Kristen Bizal, I believe. Pretty nice top case with some embossing. I don't know if you can see that. And um, it is all about. Magic and magicians, particularly from the golden age of magic from the late 1800s to the early 1900s. And, uh, yeah. And it came with a, a little informational thing. Information on the game you can play with the cards using magic tricks. And also, um, that there's actually puzzles you can puzzle, you can find clues to different magic movies within the cards as well. And then there's different magic effects on the other side. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. I did also get some games. First, a couple of older ones. These are both from uh, Genius Games. The first one I just got on Amazon it is Peptide. A protein building game, which is pretty cool by John. These are both by John Coview, hopefully that's how you pronounce it. And basically, I believe this one was just drafting and set collecting, basically, where you're collecting tokens or M or A cards and uh, using organelle cards and trying to create proteins. It's pretty interesting. The other one I got from Genius Games as well. Uh, this one, these are both older games. They're a few years old, five, six years old maybe. Um, but these are the newer versions, the newest ones. And this one is, I got this one from the link will be in the description. I believe it was Gamers Table or something like that. A Canadian game website. It is Subatomic. A atom building game. And this one's a deck building game where you're going to be collecting cards and creating atoms and converting stuff into energy. And it's all very science -y. This one actually has a seal of excellence from the Dice Tower. So that's cool. Dice Tower is a pretty big gaming group does a lot of reviews and you know how to play videos and stuff like that definitely worth checking out the youtube channel and the website if you haven't of course my favorite is board game geek and yeah it's pretty nice beautiful box as well very big what's really cool about these games is not only are they themed on science and a building protein protein building i have another one that's ion which is Compound building, I have virulence, which is on viruses, and I also have the two ecosystem games which they put out. And what's cool about these ones and Ion is that they're actually based on scientific principles. They actually have books inside of them that tell you, that talk about the science behind the game, describe it for you in case you're not familiar with it and you want to learn. The good are educational tools. And yeah, it's not just a game about science that's themed on science, it's actually based on the actual principles of science in games, and I think that is awesome. And in fact, they have experts that weigh in on the game production as well and give their opinions. Then I got two newer games. These are from Board Game Bl I got on Board Game Bliss, which is a Canadian gaming website that I frequent because they got good shipping rates and a good selection. And um, these are pretty new. These came out this last year. 
2022. The first one is another Ryan Kinnitia game. So I'm a big fan of his games, and it's my 25th century. And it is Longboard. Uh, if you're familiar with Lost Cities or Toy Lost Cities, this is actually fairly similar. You're going to be drafting cards, building up these longboards, surfboards, and scoring points for them. Pretty cool, I think. And then the other one I got is by Weird Giraffe Games, and it is the Gift of Tulip by Sarah Perry. And this one is all about Amsterdam's Tulip Festival. And you're going to be collecting tulips in these different colors. You can also add cards to the market, changing the value of the different tulips. And you can also give tulips to other players, which can get you points. And you're just going to be scoring points, and whoever has those points wins. It's pretty interesting. It's definitely unique and pretty nice artwork. So that is it for this week. Uh, stay tuned. There should be more coming next week. I'm for sure expecting at least a game. And perhaps a deck. We'll see. And maybe other stuff. That is it. Comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you next time next week with more. Thanks for watching.